Hi beautiful people, how are you all doing? Hope you guys are doing okay. You guys, it's been like ages, okay? So I decided to like start off my video upload again with a get ready with me video. This is not our regular kind of video, okay? But I said, okay, let me just try and get ready with me. Yeah, why I just you guys the day I almost died or the day I almost thought I'm gonna die here in the UK, okay? So I'll be just in the gist and do my makeup right so let's get into it i feel like this video is long long overdue mm? yeah the video is long overdue so since last year i've been planning to do a get ready with me like show you guys my makeup routine but hmm hmm so right now i've already prepped my face off the camera so let's just get right into the video proper okay so the first thing i do if I apply any product on my face, I'm going with this. So I'm just gonna use my hand and massage it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Massage the whole product into my skin that's it so basically what this does is to keep my makeup all day long because i intend to film another video after this okay i'm good to go so the first thing i do is apply my foundation Go in with my blender to blend it all into my skin. I like closing my lip when I'm doing my foundation because I don't rub anything on my lip. So, in order not to get foundation all over my lip, I am close it foundation is fully blended in so this story i'm about to just see you guys happened early last year yeah early last year that's when the thing happened and that day i was like <laughs> village people don't find me come uk so it happened that that was when we were still living in the other area so i was coming back from work one night and I, I took i entered the bus so the bus took me from the um city center from my workplace to the city center and when it got to the city center i had to take another bus to the house i could have actually walked to the house but i was tired and i didn't want to walk so i said okay let me just then um, i said let me just enter bus and that bus was supposed to be like maybe 34 minutes from the city center to the house because that time we were living at the city center here you go so when i entered the bus and the time for the driver to leave you know it wasn't yet time so the driver was still waiting for passengers to come in all of a sudden these teenage boys two teenage boys like when they came into the bus and they were like one wanted to come into the bus and the other one was trying to drag him off the bus so you guys hold on let me just blend this thing okay They were dragging each other you know they were using the f word like other boy who i thought is younger because they are two teenagers they are probably between the age of maybe 16 15 but one of them it looks pretty much younger so when the younger one that came into the bus like me get out of me i said i'm not going nowhere now everybody in the bus kept their cool because you know so this is you you cannot put my mouth in something that does not concern you so when this guy eventually entered the bus and the other guy 
the other one was telling him, you're not gonna get on the bus. That was how he lifted up his shirt and brought out a pistol. Everybody, everybody, immediately everybody took over because you know when I get on the bus, I usually stay in the front row. So immediately everybody like, what? That was how we jump inside the You were very. It's making me to laugh right now that I'm saying this. I'm saying it. But at that particular point in time, you guys, it wasn't even funny. Like, it wasn't funny at all. But we thank God. We thank God. We are still alive. So when that happened, the driver immediately called the place. So the boy with the pistol now realized that people already panicking. That was when he now ran out of the bus. And before you know it, police called enter. They now called the other boy upstairs. I was asking him what's happening, you know. Uh, the first of all called the driver, I was asking the driver what's happening and you know all of that. I'm going in now with another shade of powder. All products here are very close to my skin. I use my beauty blender for virtually everything. I use minimal of brushwork when I'm doing my makeup. I usually use wax to hold my uh, eyebrow a little bit. So I'll just go ahead and, you know, so that it will be easy for me to draw the eye pencil. Yeah. When I finish, I just put it like this. I see the difference. Now let me do this one. Let me continue my story. When the police now came around and the boy, the boy with the gun has already run out of the vicinity and the police after, you know, the driver giving them a few explanation of what transpired, they now called the other boy that was up the bus, that was up on the bus. They now took him out and they were asking him what happened, like what actually happened between him and his friend. <laughs> you know, the Nigerian in me. It's not even about the Nigerian in me because this is life, you guys. There is a there's an actual threat to my life. Okay? So this one has nothing to do with Nigeria or being. It's just um it's just waiting anybody would feel me. So immediately the police came. I just did jelly and wildly. I left the bus. <laughs> I left that bus for another bus. So there's another bus in front of the one we were in. So I went there. When I was on that bus, I actually saw that boy, the boy with the gun. I saw him again. So you see, when I see these teenage boys, like a group of teenage, you know when you're walking on the road, you see a group of teenage boys. Me personally, I don't like going close to that lane. When I see them coming from this lane, I go from this lane because, see, in as much as, yeah, um, this is abroad, but I mean, safety is of the Lord. Like they say, in, in UK, people, in, in UK is not as, you know, it's not as, how will I say it? Or will I say use the word rugged? It's not as rugged as um, America, you know, everybody carries gun in America. But still, you got to be careful. You got to be careful, right? Because anything could have happened. If that boy just released that bullet, bah, it could have hit on anybody, like anybody. And when it hits on you and the boy runs away, <clears throat> you don't die, you say you don't die. Even when you are in your home country or in abroad, just pray for God's safety. Just pray for God's safety. Because it's only God that protects. Okay? So you guys, I'm gonna use this eye pencil. Yeah. I'm gonna use this now to do my brow. Okay? So because I use the wax, it makes the whole drawing the brow easy for me okay so i'm just gonna follow the line that's it so what i'm doing now is just trying to put some more shade you know the idea is make it as natural as possible okay So from this point, because there's nothing here, <laughs> from this point I now join. Yeah. 
So when I join, and I had to fill it up a little more. Just lightly so that it won't be so dark. Yeah. So that's it. I'm going to do the second one. So what I do is whatever mistake I do here, I mean, when drawing my eyebrow, I use the concealer to just correct it. Okay. That's it. A dry powder just to tone the color down a little bit let's get the eye completely set up then I'm good to go okay I'm looking for my this <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with this shade I'm going in with the matte red so what I'm basically doing here is finishing my eyebrow you know with eyeshadow and concealer I use my hand because sometimes I feel like this part, I can't get it right without using my hand. <laughs> yeah. When you're doing your makeup, always have a wipe around because, you know, doing makeup is kind of messy. And you're going to be touching your hand, you know, like me now, I use my hand to do this. So I'm just going to clean it up with my wipes and continue. <laughs> So I'm going to do my smoky eye. Right. Okay. I usually use this thing this is what I use to give myself you know that nose contour this thing works for me perfectly like it works for me <laughs> I know some people will not agree with me this is what I should be using but I feel a lot more comfortable using this So after I've done this, I'll just go ahead and, you know, brush up the remaining part of the powder. This is the next brush I'll be using. So just bring out the nose to life.
because of my eyelids are not giving yet i usually use this so because if you look closely you see that my eyelids are a little bit whitish so you know that's it so at this point this is where you can put on your if you have your makeup spray and you spray it right now i don't have makeup spray so i'm just gonna finish up my neck okay and put on my lashes Super light. I don't know if you guys can see it properly. Of course, yeah, you can see it. And yeah, lashes done and dusted. The last thing I put on is this. Yeah. So most of you may have, you know, noticed. I don't use lipstick, anything color on my lip. I don't like it. So I usually do this. Yeah. <laughs> so this is just basically the usual lip balm. Yeah. How do I look? How do I look? <laughs> okay, you guys. Let me tidy up my hair. I'll be right back. Okay. What do you think of my transformation hmm? so let me just finish my gist because this gist is long overdue where was I yeah so by the time the police came in they got the other boy down upstairs and you know they took the boy and was you know asking him questions by then I've already left that bus and entered the next bus so when I was on the next bus I saw the boy with the the pistol he was walking towards the bus even though the police was there, the boy said no fear. So when I saw him, but you know, he's abroad now. <laughs> you will mind your business. <laughs> I know that he was in Nigeria. I would have just screamed, police, police, see me. <laughs> but anyway, luckily, our boss now drove off. So what I'm why I'm telling this story is not just because I want to tell the story, but it's just to emphasize, you know, abroad, abroad. We, we keep saying abroad is safe. Yeah, abroad is safe. Like, it's safer than... The country where I come from, you know, Nigeria, where a lot of things happen, like a lot of things can happen and nothing will happen. You get, but you know, it also um, boils down to saying that, in as much as you know, there is a lot more security here, your safety is of God, like it's only God that can save you from any situation, from any random gunshot, any accident, and the charge. You get what I mean? Yeah, that day I thought I was gonna because at that point, that boy brought out that pistol everybody on the bus everybody on the bus like when i got home i was just saying my husband what happened it was so surreal just imagine if that boy mistakenly like boom pull the trigger that bullet like straight up would have thought stone like obviously but we thank god it didn't get to that Somehow, somehow, the situation was taken care of, okay? Anyway, you guys, thank you for joining me in this video. Hopefully, I'm back with my, you know, usual upload. Of course, um, later, later, I'm going to just you guys the reason why I've been off, you know, YouTube. And it's going to happen, you know, for some time until I finish exactly what I'm doing at a moment. But later, later, I'll just you guys what actually happened okay but until then you guys tell me what you think of my makeup hmm? tell me what you think good or not good <laughs> i know it's good <laughs> i 
anyway guys thank you for joining me i will see you guys in my next one